What is up, Shark Arm? It's your boy Shark, and welcome back to my Stardew Valley 1.5 Beach Farm playthrough. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done an episode of this. My schedule has been so tight lately. I've had so much on, so many videos and ideas. And obviously, if you are not aware, I will be competing in the brand new Stardew Valley Cup, which has been created and sponsored by the developer himself, Concerned Ape, and Unsurpassable Z. I have done a video on that if you want to find out more details about it. But this competition is going to be huge. We are competing in teams of four for a prize fund of $40,000. It's going to be huge. I will be streaming it live on my YouTube. YouTube channel on the 4th of September that is when the event starts and I've been practicing and putting a lot of effort into this uh, this cup this event which has been difficult because my team we're all from different <laughs> parts of the world so our time zones suck you know it's so hard to try and put some practice in but yeah my schedule has been so so uh, tight and I apologize for the lack of like episodes for this series and things like that but Hopefully it starts going back to normal very soon. So yeah, we are on uh, the 11th of winter. It's Thursday. I can't even remember what we did in this playthrough uh, in the last episode. Like I said, it's been a couple of weeks since we did play. But hopefully you guys are still here and you're still watching it. I know a lot of you people really do enjoy this playthrough series. A terrible look today, which sucks. So yes, here we go. We've got a snowy day. And I'm sure we can find a lot of stuff to do. This is just a casual, nice, relaxing playthrough. We have got a few journal quests, I remember in the last episode. Four days to do this one for Emily. We need one of every... Yeah, one of these crystals. I'm not sure we've got all of them, but we might have some. And we can go to the quarry, which I said in the last episode as well. If you haven't seen that, make sure you go back and watch it. I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, how many? We've got two. So let's put two of these broken CDs into here. I love that the greenhouse is nice and close now. Very easy to get to. Oh, we've got a few cranberries, actually. This is going to give us a little bit of uh, money. Oh, I should have waited, because obviously all these ones need to be ready at the same time. Our pickaxe is being upgraded. We can't pick that up today. It might be tomorrow. But I want to go to the mines. And we'll, I just want to gather loads of resources. I'm trying to practice, like I said, for this uh, competition that I'm a part of. So I'm trying to get very good at speed and animation cancelling etc so you might see that in this uh, little playthrough now you should see my skills and my practice for that i'm going to sort out the animals we've not got many i'm i do want to buy a few more of these they're so expensive though so let's just uh, milk these I want to start getting prepared for spring. I want to start, uh, you know, getting lots of things crafted like jars and kegs ready to start making some big money. I am going to go for some strawberries um, in spring. I want a big boost of money. Also lots of cauliflower, I think. I need to put this milk pail away. It's just me again, cows. Don't worry. I'm all over the place. I forgot to put the milk in the cheese press and everything. God damn it. It's been a while, all right? I'm rusty. I'm all over the place. Right, okay. Get the eggs in here. I'm not sure what we can do today without the um, the pickaxe. I can't go to the quarry or the mines. Oh, snow yam. Still waiting on the wheat, aren't we? Yeah, we need one more. We need to harvest a gold quality. That's taking some time. Maybe if I do a bit of fishing today. I don't think that'll be a bad idea. We'll do some foraging. I'm also going to chop a few trees down and get some wood. Hey, this is the chance for you guys to see my... Uh, Animation cancelling. Are you ready? Yeah, all right. And I'm rusty, okay? I'm rusty. But look how slow it would take if I wasn't doing this, all right? Let's try again. I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm getting there, all right? Just keep practicing, putting, it in, putting the shifts in, you know? And I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it. My problem is I cancel too early. I keep cancelling the animation way too early before it even does the thing, you know? It's much faster, though. I, I must agree, it's definitely much faster. I'm getting through these a lot a lot quicker than I used to. Oh, yeah, let's go. Speed! I'm a professional right now. All right? I'll never play this game <laughs> the normal way ever again. Let's go. So again, lots of wood. This is going to be important, like I said, if I want to do the jars and get loads of crafting and building things, I want to be stocking up on this. So this is quite a good thing to do today. I 
Notice some bubbles have appeared. Let's get a, a line in the water for this. See what we can get. This is not a very good place to fish here. I know you get a lot of pike in here. This is winter though, so yeah, there's the pike. Some bait and coal. All right, I'll take it. Oh, what a bite instantly. I wish there was more variation of fish in this little pond here in the forest. I feel like there should be a special fish to catch in here, you know? A forest pond. Obviously a bit like the wood skip in the secret woods. But this pond here, yeah, you don't seem to catch anything different other than the same stuff. It'd be nice to get like a, a somewhat of a, a prehistoric, creepy looking fish in the forest pond. Or even a legendary. I'm very surprised one of the legendary fishes are not obtainable in this pond here. There's some pretty good fish in here to catch though for winter. You know, the pike, I've just caught a tiger trout. We've got the perch, I'm not sure how valuable they are. We are a master fisher. That was our first skill we got to level 10 in this playthrough. I do like fishing. And um, you might be seeing me do a lot of that in this Stardew Valley Cup that we'll be doing. Because that's what I'm best at, alright? <laughs> I should have bought a sunflower for Haley. We could do that tomorrow. I want to try and get her to max arts because like I said, we are going to marry Haley in this playthrough. I've never married Haley in this game at all. Uh, and at the start of this series, I did ask you guys to put in the comments who we should try and go for. The only person I didn't include was Leah because I've already married her. And yeah, a lot of you guys were saying Haley. It kind of fitted the theme on the beach farm. It's kind of what Haley is, right? She likes the summer seasons and stuff. Uh, Abby wants a crocus. We've literally just found one of those. We found two. So if we can find Abigail today, I could literally give her that. But she's probably going to be out somewhere. Uh, yeah. And I'm not sure what she does in winter. I know she hangs about with Sebastian a lot. So maybe she's up at his house today. I'm not sure. We can go take a look. Oh, look at this, guys. Isn't that a good sight to see? A fully complete community center. Oh, wow. Still got plenty of time as well. We did that so so early in the year. We've we killed that. We literally did that so well. Abigail! Robin, is she there? Is she in here? Oh, well, there she is. <laughs> Another year is almost over. Yeah. Cro Crocus. No, no, eat it. Oh god. Hello, Sharky. So you saw the ad I posted? It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. This isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. But that's not your fault. Thanks for responding to my bulletin. Why are you asking for a crocus, huh? There we go, we got 180. We made her a little bit happy, I think. Not too bad at all. So maybe I could, ooh, crystal fruit right here. Maybe I could do a little bit of fishing up here to end the night. I know this stays a little bit slow, but I want to go up to the mines. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff I want to do here, but I need my pickaxe. We have sent it to Clint, I believe. So we have got to go and pick that up tomorrow if it's ready on Friday. I'm hoping so. And then we can have a good session at the quarry, in the mines, you know, get that skill up. And gather a lot of resources. We're going to need a lot of coal, iron and gold. So... It's going to be important. Two fire quartz, let's go. Our energy is looking quite low, actually. Because, obviously, we have been chopping some trees down as well. We gathered lots of wood today. And we've been doing quite a bit of fishing, so... It might be good just to end this day a little bit earlier, so we can start a fresh day. I'm very excited to get into spring already. You know, I love winter at the start, but eventually it gets to that time where I'm ready. You know, I'm ready for winter to end and I, I can't wait to see the spring season and start farming again and making some big money. And it's going to be a brand new year for us. Year two on the beach farm. That is so crazy. Time flies when you're having fun, guys. All right. Right, this is going to be my last cast. I could eat something, but I want to save these survival burgers, etc. for the mines. So... The link card, a 50-something inch new record. Let's go. Worth a little bit of money as well. How much wood did we manage to get? 365. That's not bad, you know. That's very good. I really want a shed as well. Uh, I forgot how much that is, but when we start making a little bit of extra money, I'm going to buy a shed. That's going to be the first thing on my list, I think. Because I want to fill it out with jars or kegs or something like that. And it's going to be like my little production area. Start making a little bit of money. But I don't want to put it all over the farm. It would get a bit too messy. So, well, as you can see right now, we've got a lot of kegs and stuff here. We've got, is this pumpkin juice? I think we put pumpkins in there. I can't remember. Oh, and this is done as well, the pickle. Okay, so let's get a lot of this fish gone. At this point in time, I'm just selling everything for money. I don't really need these things, I don't think. So, 
So let's see what we've got here. We've got pickled tomato. Yes, let's go. That might make us a little bit of cash. But we've got some good kegs here. And we've got a lot of pumpkin juice. Oh, we've got some potatoes. I'll put two potatoes in there. Fair enough. Um, yeah, let's go. Give us that money. I'm going to store some things away and end this day, guys. Let's go. It's time to put the copper pan back on my head. All right. It's, it's just, it's not the same without it. It's easier, it's, it saves an inventory slot, and we look cool, all right? This is it, this is the beach farm. We started with the copper pan on my head, and that's what we carried on with. <laughs> it's, it feels weird when it's not on. I feel vulnerable. Right, so I've got 10 more bait, I can put that in there. Okay, I'll go and get the mayonnaise and the cheese, I'll sell those, and then I think we are good to end the day. Right, I think we can officially say, good night, Finn. He's, he's already asleep. He's sick of waiting. Oh, there we go. This is a this is one of our best days for winter. You know, we made 6k. Not bad. To say we're still doing some farming, even though we're in winter, is not bad. But the fishing was very good yesterday. So we are now on the 12th of winter. It is Friday, yeah. Weather, I don't know why I check it. It doesn't really matter. What luck have we got today? Bad luck again. And is the pickaxe still not ready? I feel like it might be ready. <laughs> it might be ready and we've just not picked it up. I don't even know at this point. I can't remember when we upgraded it. This is the situation with the bars. We've got 14 iron bars, 11 gold, and 23 copper. And as you can see, the ore is, is low. It's gone. We need to be stocking that up right now. We've got a lot of stone. Wood's looking okay. We just need these bars, man. We need some ore. We're going to need some more coal as well for the preserve jars. That's going to soon run through when we start crafting those. But this is the, the main one, the kegs, the oak resin, and the iron bars. Now, can we craft some more tree tappers? I might... I've got an idea here to start getting a bit more oak resin. We could start making a little oak resin farm. So we've got the acorns here. So if we can make a little section for these and get some oak resin, that one's finished here actually. I'm going to have some going along the side here of the greenhouse. And when I get a little path here, some grass starters, that's going to look pretty cool. Like trees going on the side of it here. We'll have some fences. And I'm purely going for acorns because oak resin is quite important for the kegs. This side at the minute is literally just full of seeds and wood. We're going to have to knock these down eventually. But when these are, when these grow, yeah, I'm going to start putting some oak resin on them. But it's going to take some time. So I'm going to... Can we craft another tree tapper at this point? Wood and two copper bars. Okay, we should still be able to do that. If I could do another two of these... I really need oak resin at this point. Our coffee's done. Not bad. So I've got two, so I need to try and find an oak tree, which uh, in this stage is quite difficult because they all look the same. I'm pretty sure this one is here. That looks identical to this. You can tell a little bit by the top of them. And I think this one here is as well. No, it's not. It's not that one, it's this one. Okay. I think that's right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but uh, we might be okay. So we might start getting a bit more oak resin now as well, and I can start making some more of these kegs. Good co good speed boost here, though. I love that. Right, what else can we put in here? We've, we've got nothing. We've literally got nothing for our kegs at this point. We need to start getting some crops. That's worrying. I've got some wheat here. What was we keeping this for? I can start making some beer. I, I, we don't need the wheat anymore. The community center's done. Uh, I was going to save it for the flour, right? But yeah, I'm going to start using that, I reckon. Start making that beer. That's going to increase the money a little bit more. Right, okay, we've got a letter as well. Let me read this. Let's see what it says. Oh, Jody, my favorite babe in the whole town. has just gave us five quality fertilizer. Oh, there's a reason why I love that woman. The wizard. I require an item known as void essence. Do we have one of those already? <laughs> of course we do. We'll go see the wizard today. No worries. Oh, yeah, we still want this. And, oh, we've got to go to the quarry. I need my pickaxe. Where is it, Finn? Ooh. Okay. More cranberries. But I think what I'm going to do 
is keep that here. And then when all this grows at the same time, because as you can see, we've got quite a lot here. I want it all to be synchronized so we can harvest it at the same time. Because these cranberries are probably going to stay here for a little while in the greenhouse up until we start getting some big crops like the star fruit. And so, yeah, I'm going to keep them there. The, the gold wheat is not done yet. I'm hoping this is going to be gold quality. We only need one. But I think we're good. Right. Uh, Yeah. Let's sort the animals out. And I'm going to go and see Clint just to double check to see if the pickaxe has been there all along. And I've just literally forgot to pick it up. I've got a funny feeling that's, that's what's happening. I've also got a feeling that Clint doesn't open it on a Friday. For some reason. I could be wrong. I don't know. Which makes sense why he's not ready with the pickaxe today. Mayonnaise is done. Yay, 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 yay. Right, well, Finn's outside today, but it's snowing. Poor dog. Maybe he just wants a drink. <laughs> he's so thirsty, he's came out in the snow. Yeah, then, Finn. There we go. I'm sorry. Right, if we see Haley sunflower today, definitely. We've got the void essence for the wizard. We've got a, an oil. We've got some bait. Life's good. Life's good on the beach farm, guys. Let's put some more trash into these. I'm going to quickly check this. <sighs> Come on. Hurry up, bats. You take so long. I'll have a scar for some forage. And then we shall go. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about these. Oh, this place is looking rough. The fences are all falling apart. Lord above. Let's get this forage skill, though. Now we can sell all these. Give us that cash flow. But I think what's better to do is craft these into the wild seeds because these sell for more, right? A winter root, crystal fruit, snow yam, and a crocus. You need one of each. And if you sell all of those, how much do you get? Because you get a pack of 10 seeds here. I'm just going to craft as many as we can. We've got 60. I'll sell those and then I can, can sell the, the rest of these individually. That's going to give us a bit more money. I'm pretty sure it's more valuable to do that. Unless I've just completely messed up. I am a Stardew Valley professional, I promise, guys. I know what I'm doing, all right? Sometimes I just need reassurance if it's the right thing or not. Don't we all? Yeah, I probably, I just suck at the game. <laughs> right, so before we go down and do the things, I'll sell these right now. And let's go into town. We'll start with the wizard. And in fact, no, we won't. I'll go and see Clint just in case he is open today because he does shut quite early. I've still got a feeling he's not, though. Wormies! Pam, look, there's more! She's not very uh, impressed. These trees are not growing. Why? I'm pretty sure they was the hardwood trees, but... They're not coming up just yet. The kids are outside in the snow. Penny, terrible. They're freezing. They've not even got a winter hat on. They've got no gloves or scarf. You should be ashamed of yourself, Penny. Damn it, Clint's not here. I knew it. I hate him. Right, it's going to be done tomorrow. I'm sorry, Penny. You're a good person, really. I'm just so frustrated because of Clint. You know, I'm taking it out on you, and I'm sorry. Where are these? Right, I'll forage whilst I'm here. I don't think there's much. No, was there just literally two coral? Wow. I'm so glad we came here. I was going to check the trash can there, but Leah's just there. Uh, walking on by. Right, she's gone. Please be worth it. Please be worth it. Please be worth it. It wasn't worth it. Oh, the travel car. I forgot about this. It's Friday. Quick. Yes. Battery pack for 2K. It's terrible. What are these prices? Look at the truffle oil. Woo. Nothing for us there. You need to sort your prices out. Jeez, they're so expensive. Oh, God damn the train. That can wait. I am not going up there. Not a chance. Where are these? Oh my god, the ancient sword? We've already got that. It was in such a weird place. Look at that. Wizard, I've got something for you. I believe the townsfolk are afraid of me. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, here we go. Ah, you brought it. You've earned my gratitude and a thousand gold reward. Now go. Wow, a thousand gold. It is unfortunate, but I suppose it is human to be afraid of the unknown. Hey, I'm not afraid of you, the wizard. Alright, so there's not much more we can do today. I'm just going to loop around and probably head back home. Wormies. And, uh, yeah, get a few wood on the way as well. 
Guys, I'm so fast. I'm such a professional. Look at me go. House Matt, are you impressed? <laughs> I don't think he's impressed. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. I felt that. Oh, that's satisfying. When you hear the noise of it like that, so good. Oh my god. Prehistoric Scalpula. We've already got that as well. I think we're doing quite well the art with the artifacts. We seem to have quite a lot of them. Right, there's more wormies. Oh my god, the Elvis jewelry. We've got that as well. Oh no, we haven't. Oh, we're doing so good with these artifacts today. Wow, winter is very good for artifacts though. It's definitely your best time of year to go out and find them. Just because there is quite a lot of the dig spots around. Because of the snow yams and things like that. So, get out there and find them in winter. Use this time. Oh, there's more here. Could we get another artifact? Come on. Oh, I've lost some stone as well. Oh, that was frustrating. Oh, we've got a bit... Oh, how much is the shed? We could possibly, after today, just have enough to buy ourselves a shed before we go up to the mines. I know that's expensive. But I think it would be very important... Right, I think we are good to go. Put the coffee beans away, and let's go to sleep. Another day done, guys. We're getting there, right? Just under 3,000. Look at the seeds. They actually sell for quite a bit. So, for 60, we've got 900, which, yeah, probably more than we would have got for just all of the crops, right? The forage stuff. So, it's definitely worth doing that. Although, we are on 50% profit margin, so everything's... Harder to make money. Yeah, the steel pickaxe is ready. <laughs> Finally. It's steel as well. That's good. Right, let's check the look. Please be a good luck day today. <sighs> yeah. Our pickaxe done. And we have three bad luck days in a row. Could this be any worse of an episode? Oh, the wheat's done though. We just need one more gold and it should be done. Yeah. Let's go. 2,500. Oh. Holy, we've got two days left to get all these as well. And I just want to, oh, these ancient fruit are very close to being done. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to do Emily's quest or not. Like I said, we just need to go to the quarry. We can get the pickaxe today, so it's just in case of finding them. I'll sort the animals out and then uh, we'll get the stuff done. We've got quite a busy day today. Now that's what you call speed. Whew. For God's sake. Right, so yeah, let's swing by and pick this up. Um, as you can see, we've not got all the gems. We've got an aquamarine and a topaz, which I'm sure she wants. And the amethyst, right? Let's see what she wanted again. So we've got the topaz, we've got the amethyst. She doesn't want an aquamarine. So, Topaz, Amethyst, so she wants a Ruby, Emerald, and Jade, which are the three we've not got. So, I'm pretty sure we could po possibly do that today. So, let's go and get this straight away. There's a lot to do. I see the worm is behind the tree there. Look how sneaky that is. Oh, it's an arrowhead as well. Wowzers. If we're going down to Clint, let's donate some artifacts. I think we've got quite a few whilst we're here. May as well do it, save a bit of time. So we've got this. Did we get anything else? Oh, we didn't. Oh, we only got two. Oh, no, we've got this one as well. Okay, it's free. Now, there's the dinosaur egg as well, but I'm definitely not going <laughs> to donate that. Uh, it's definitely worth putting this into an incubator and getting the dinosaurs, and then you can start farming for their eggs. Donate one and use the rest for mayonnaise. Big money. I can't wait to start doing that. Um, but I'll keep hold of that for now. We can't give Haley a... Did we give her a sunflower? Did we do it? No, we didn't. Okay, last day today before it resets. Let's go and do that as well. Can't forget to do that. Right, I think we're good. Enough chit-chat. I get so distracted. Morning, Pam. Morning, Jody. <laughs> You're welcome. Gotta give Jody a gift. It'd be rude not to. Haley! She's in bed at 10 o'clock on a Saturday. She's having a lie-in. Wake up! Oh, God, this is my favorite thing. What are you doing in my bedroom? <laughs> Seven out of eight hearts, guys. It's too cold to get out of bed. Oh, she's just chilling. She's not asleep. All right, bye. So lazy. We're up at the crack of dawn. I hope she's not like this as a wife. I hope she gets up at the same time as me. Oh, pickaxe, this is going to be such a good sight. Let's get it. Clint, where have you been? 
Oh, thank you so much. Life's good again. A steel pickaxe. Now this is going to be very, very good down uh, down in the mines. And whilst we're here, like I said, let's just quickly... Ooh, an Omni Geode. Let's donate some of these things. Clear up some space. Here he is. Donate. There's not much, but we've got a few stuff here. Oh, new reward. All right, all right, all right. All right, okay, I think we're good. So what did we get for that? Oh, yeah, of course. The skeleton thing. Oh, I'll keep it there for now. Right, to the mines. We can use the cart. Whilst we're down here, get straight up there. I keep forgetting to use these. And there we go, guys. Uh, oh. Yeah. I've not got my sword. Great. It's your fault, Pam. Should we go to the quarry first? Yeah, you know what? Let's do the quarry because there might be a chance of finding a lot of resource and stuff there as well. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's been a while. So there is the emerald straight away. Okay, guys, this is good. There's already some iron. There's the topaz. Oh, this is great. What a day. And, of course, lots of stone too. Clear this up. There's a chance of other stuff spawning then. A little bit of gold. Some cheeky gold. Let's go. Is that a diamond? Ho, ho, ho. So this is important. Like I said, resources more than anything. Uh, this is what I really, really want. Good mining skill as well. I'm going to literally clear the whole lot. Oh, there's the ruby. Let's go. We just need a jade and we've literally got them all. There's another diamond, guys. This is insane. Should we have come here on a good luck day? What skill are we with our mining? Okay, so we have got the geology, so there's a chance for gems to appear in pairs. I don't know if this goes by luck or not. I don't know if it's worth keeping the gems here to try and duplicate. Well, the diamonds especially. I might leave them and wait for a good luck day. Because it might be worth trying to get two of those, you know? But I don't know if it's luck dependent. The same as this here. This gives you... Does this give you random ones? I don't know. So clear these trees as well. I never knew trees spawned here. But you want to clear this space up as much as possible. Because then obviously things will spawn back, right? Right, I'm going to eat some blackberries here. I want to clear all of this up. So we don't really need to go to the mines. I just wanted resources and stuff like that. And we're going to get a little bit of money from this as well. Right, we are back up a little bit here. Right, so all this is cleared. Uh, like I said, we've just left the diamonds. I'm not sure what this is. Does this give us a random one? Shall I just break this open? Okay, so we get some golden iridium. All right. But I'm going to test... Oh, we've got a secret note here. Wow. Uh, I'm going to test the theory of waiting for a good luck day because today is a bad luck day. Uh, and these will stay here, right? The diamond things. So if there's a chance of getting two or more from them, I'll really, really take that because we could do with keeping those for the crystallarium and making that extra money. Right, whilst we're here, we've got a little bit of energy. Let's eat this. I'm going to quickly go and get the golden scythe. You go down here and get it. There's a few enemies you've got to kill, but it's very, very simple. I don't think it's difficult to get down here. And there's a few more resources as well. There's no ladder. You can just go all the way down to the bottom. It's not too bad. I'm going to take some speed as well. Get some good resources here. Another secret note. I'll have to read those soon. Oh, another one. These slimes are aggressive. Damn things. Well, we're doing all right. Let's carry on. There we go. These things are a little bit more difficult. They're a bit faster. I think they take a little bit longer to kill. Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, come on. Why is that not hurting them? It's like weird at an angle. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't have aggravated all of those at the same time. Run! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was close. Five of those there all at the same time. Not a good idea. I ran right through them and they all got aggravated. Jeez. And sometimes the sword just does not want to hit them. It's like they're invisible. But I think that should be good. A little bit more. I think we're not far away now. We've got to be careful because we've got to try and get back home as well. Uh, oh, how far away are we? Can we? Are we not going to have time for this? Maybe we haven't. I 
think it's just around this corner. Come on. Yeah, it's quite a lot, actually. We've got a ruby ring. Increases our tap by 10%. All right, I'll take that. Oh, it's too late. I think it's just here as well. Okay. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Leave. Eat. Eat like your life depends on it. Eat those blackberries. Go, 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 go. They're so fast. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're so fast. There's so many of them too. Run. Okay, we're fine. I can use the car, get straight back to the bus stop. Right, that was tough. Is that, I didn't have enough time to do that, so we can probably attempt that again tomorrow. Uh, let's get back to the bus stop. But we did get a lot of resources, especially what I came for. I left it too late to get the golden scythe. It was just around the corner. There's just quite a few enemies, though. A little bit too much for me to handle. Right, it looks like some beer's done as well here. If I can sell this quickly before the time, get a little bit of cash flow. Right, I'm going to read these as well. We're going to read the secret notes in the morning. I've got the emerald and the ruby. We just need the jade. And then I think we are good with that. I didn't get all the animal products. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Oh my god! Chocky! The beautiful chocolate milk cow has gave birth to a baby! I didn't even know they was pregnant. What the hell? Chocky and vanilla. They made fudge. That's what we're calling it. Chocolate and vanilla. They made fudge. Nice brown cow. Baby brown. We've got another one. So we don't need to go and buy more, guys. We're breeding them. Incredible. How exciting was that? Something I did not expect. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> wow. Now that is frustrating. If you guys know on my 100% completion series, the last recipe I need, chocolate cake. And we've just got the chocolate cake recipe on this playthrough. This is what I need on my completion series, god damn it. But you know what guys, I am going to end that one there. Uh, maybe a little bit shorter of an episode, but like I said, time's running quite low for me at the minute. I've got a lot of um, stuff on my schedule. But the playthrough is back, I'm going to be uploading more episodes of this for you guys along with the 100% completion series. I've got an episode coming literally probably tomorrow after you're seeing this. Just to let you know we are so close with that as well. It's nearly finished. But just to repeat guys, I am going to be competing in the Stardew Valley Cup. This is a tournament hosted and sponsored by the developer Concerned Ape, Eric Barone and Unsurpassable Z. They will be streaming it, commentating over it. There's four teams of four. I have made a video. I'll put a link down below if you want to find out more about it. But I will be in this with my team trying to come first for a prize pool of $40,000. It's going to be crazy. I will be streaming it myself. I'm going to schedule that a few days before so you guys can get an idea of when it's starting and you, you, know, you can be there ready. But don't worry if you cannot attend the live stream. I will be putting it straight up onto my channel so you can watch it as a video and skip through it and stuff like that if uh, you can't catch the live stream. But it's going to be huge. I'm so excited. I'm so privileged and proud to be a part of it. I just want to thank Eric Barone, the developer, and Unsurpassable Z for inviting me. It's going to be a very, very special day for me. Thank you all for your love and support. Make sure you take it easy. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the playthrough and you are happy it's returned. And make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Which, from recording this, we have just hit 100,000, which is insane. I can't actually believe it. It's a dream come true. I'm going to try and think of a special video to do for this. Give me some suggestions down below what you'd like to see for an 100k special. But it's time quite perfectly because in a few days I'm doing this Stardew Valley Cup and we've just hit 100k like a week before, which is insane. So it can't be any better for me. Thank you so much, guys. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.